Hey guys, I'm Bex, founder of Fully Styled, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, What's in My Clothes, where I'll be sharing the latest trends and some of my favorite designer styles. In addition to recommendations with links to shop, I'll be sharing honest reviews, designer hauls, unboxing, and styling tips. My curations will incorporate a mix of trends and classic pieces fully styled to serve the modern woman. Let's dive straight into summer 2023 trends. For our first look, we have this gorgeous Sylvia Taurasi caftan dress. Caftans are a huge trend this season and that 70s vibe is definitely coming back. I styled this look with a metallic Saint Laurent heel. These are an older season, but there are similar styles available on the market now that I'll link for you below. Now I topped off this look with this beautiful, bold Bottega Veneta drop earring. These earrings are so popular right now. All of the top models have been seen wearing them and they're just the perfect bold statement to top off the stress. I wanted to just add a nice little gold chain, something simple to bring the attention to the neck without stealing away any attention from the earrings. And then lastly, I wanted to pull out this gorgeous chartreuse green color from the dress. I think the metallic accents look stunning with this dress and she's ready to go. This next look is so cool. This top is so unique and I love the vibrant red and pink color combination that is in this outfit. I styled this cult guy atop with these Sylvia Chirassi pants. This is the same designer as the look from the last shot. Um, and these colors here just go so beautifully with the colors of the top. And it's just such a fun night out look for summer. I styled this look with metallic, but silver this time. This is a vintage Fendi baguette and vintage baguettes are all the rage this season. You can find them on secondhand sites. I'll leave some links below of some of my favorite Fendi finds. Lastly, I styled this look with a clear Amina Muadi heel. This look is so much going on that you really don't want your shoe to take away. So the clear PVC that just hides below the pant is the perfect option and just topped it off with a little silver Louis Vuitton necklace. I love the natural shape of the V that mimics the shape of the top as well. You guys have probably seen the Barbie core trend all over social media, and this Pat Poe dress just speaks perfectly to that trend. I love this high neck, this gorgeous hot pink color. She looks like a real life Barbie doll with the pearl earrings, with a little diamond crystal embellishment, the pearl clutch, and the Amina Mwadi rosy heel. I think the clear PVC with the crystal bow is just the perfect feminine touch. And this dress is such a cool material. It's actually made out of swim material, so it's perfect for a summer beach wedding um, or a formal event. It's also giving a little mermaid core too with that swim material, so you're kind of representing both of the trends in this gorgeous gown. Hot pink is great and it's super bold, but if you want something a little more understated, we have a gorgeous peach set by Matthew Bruch that Lindsay's gonna try on next. Wide leg pants are a huge trend this season and I love this matching two-piece linen set by Matthew Bruch. It's a gorgeous pastel color and a beautiful peachy tone. And I love this gorgeous bone color detail on the belts. The pearly finish on the belt matches the Edie Parker clutch perfectly. And I added some gold accents and turquoise to really make this look pop. I topped off this look with a pearly and gold vintage necklace and styled it with the same metallic YSL shoes that we used in look one, which shows you the cost per wear of these beautiful gold metallic shoes. It's a great staple to have in your wardrobe. You can use them for so many different outfits that can take you from day to night. So for this next look, we have a dress by Matthew Bruch. This is the same designer as that cute little peachy set that she had on in one of the previous looks. This is the perfect casual evening or elevated daytime dress. It's a navy linen and we styled it with a little rope espadrille sandal heel. 
and topped it off with a bold pop with the earrings. This is the same Bottega Veneta drop earring that we styled previously. And then I'm gonna finish off her look with more gold accents and white to tie in the shoe. This is such a pretty summer, kind of nautical little outfit and topped it off with some bangles too. So cute. I love how it ties in the back, crisscrosses in the front, just fits so beautifully and has really nice simple tailoring. So you guys might recognize some of these accessories from episode one where I talked about spring 2023 trends. These are timeless pieces that are really gonna go the full mile in your wardrobe. These are investment pieces that have a really low cost per wear because of the amount of times that we can wear them and incorporate them from season to season. This sweater is another beautiful piece by Matthew Bruch that's definitely one of my favorite summer designers. This beautiful beachy piece looks so great with just a cotton twill pant. These are by Enza Costa and I styled the look with some sambas. This is a great little running around Aaron's day-to-day -day outfit, um, but is also great for vacation to wear on a casual stroll. I topped off this look with the row bag. You can see how beautifully the black structured handbag goes with even a casual flowy outfit. And then we're gonna finish off the look with these Dior sunglasses that you've seen a few times as well. And the final look that I haven't talked about yet is my outfit. I'm representing the mermaid core trends with this vintage Lily Pulitzer dress that I recently found at a vintage shop on the Eastern shore. I styled it with a Renee Calvilla sandal. These are very minimalistic, but I love the beautiful sparkly detail with the crystals on the shoe. The mermaid core trend is all about netting, crochet, sparkles, anything that kind of represents the scales and shine that a mermaid would have. And I topped off the look with this pearl cult Gaia clutch, which is also speaking to the mermaid core trend. Think pearls, oyster shells, shells. Um, I have a little rhinestone necklace here, but I would have loved to style this with a big starfish necklace. I just didn't have it, but I will add a link for some of my favorite necklace styles so that you can try to mimic this look. As always, I'll leave you links to the exact pieces below, and if I can't find you those, I'll do my best to find similar options. Until our next video, live fully, live styled, live fully styled.